Hello there everybody and welcome. This is your guy Rob MC and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft onto your computer, PC, Macintosh, Linux, whatever it is you have. So let's get started shall we? What you want to do is connect to an internet and viable stable internet that will be accessible to you for at least half an hour. So open up your laptop, go into your internet, whatever it is it may be. Uh, I suppose we will start off by going to the Minecraft homepage, which is usually on Mojang, you could just search Mojang or just search Minecraft. And the first result that comes up is Minecraft or Minecraft.net. You click on that and it will bring you to the Minecraft homepage. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to purchase Minecraft because downloading it is, well, illegal unless you buy the actual Minecraft game. Or you can click here, pay the demo, which will give you a day or 24 hours worth of Minecraft before the, you get notification asking you to buy the game. Now, first things first, you're going to want to register. When you do that, I'll show you now. It'll bring you into this page where you enter in your details and hurry up. You enter in your email address. You tap it in again because they want you to. And then you make up a password and you type in the password again. You create an account. Then. You can go to buy a redeem code, which is where you would buy Minecraft, which is usually 19 euros, or I think it's 22 dollars, or I think it's I think it's about 15 pounds, depending on where you are. Oh, excuse me. Once you've that bought now, it'll bring you over here to the download and install. There'll be a link for a PC, Minecraft.exe. You click that, and you know what? I'll just show you now. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Download. Oh, there you are. Once you've bought, it'll bring you over to that uh, download and install, which will be this page here or something similar. Now, Minecraft for Windows, you click that and you download it, and I'll show you what it does in a few minutes. You can click show all platforms, whether you have a Macintosh or Linux or Unix or whatever the hell weird system you have. And you click that, and there'll be download instructions. Now, this is the 1.9.exe server file, and if you're running on Windows and just want to set up a server for Minecraft, you click this link, and there'll be instructions on the screen. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys is I am going to show you how to install Minecraft. So you click that, you click that, hello, 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 are you loading, are you loading, why aren't you loading, you're not loading, why aren't you loading, oh yeah, if you see here now guys, I've just set the screen up for you, you see over here, that Minecraft is downloading and once that's downloaded you click on it and you shall be brought to here ignore that ignore that don't watch that don't look at that you will be brought to this thing here and it will say looking for an update downloading and it will download download the launcher for you and that usually takes ooh, depending on your internet connection say for uh, 50 megabit per second connection it should take about half an hour to an hour depending on how fast your internet speed is and then this page shall come up you're already logged in that's my Minecraft username Rob Likovich if you want to add me you can you're more than welcome to and you will ask to be put in your email address or your username forget username put in your email address and then you put in your password and you log in okay and you should be brought to this page here. You might have to download a patch depending on what version you're downloading. And uh, you select your profile. I'll show you what to do with these later. And you click play. When you click play, this bar will come up and it will download all the files necessary that you will need to play Minecraft. And within a three, two, one, you should be able to start playing Minecraft if a box comes up here. It looks like Java. If you don't have Java, download Java or play Minecraft will be. You won't be able to play Minecraft. So, once you've that done, you should be able to play Minecraft. Now, oh, don't mess up on me now, Java. Oh, yeah. Come back here now. That, that's 
that done. That's how you play Minecraft. But if you have an old laptop or old computer, go in here to edit profile. Now, because I use Forge to play my Pixel Mon, I'm using that version. But I recommend that you play in version 1.0 first. Then you you can click use latest version and uh, download the Forges if you want. But game directory. That is where everything is stored. Open game directory and you'll see all the servers, options, all the text documents, all the Java files, property files, database stats, your saves, your screenshots, your resource packs, your mods, your configuration files, which you can edit with Notepad++ by the way. But I wouldn't recommend it unless you have a good basic knowledge of coding, like myself. And if you have a old computer where you don't where you don't have that much RAM, you click JVM arguments, and you, this be on one gigabyte. You could up that to two gigabytes or three gigabytes, depending on how much memory memory you want allocated to your Minecraft folder. And don't forget to click save. Now. Once you've all that done, and if you've any questions, don't hesitate to contact me or contact Mojang. And I think that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching my video. If you like it, click that like button, helps out a stack. Subscribe for more content, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Goodbye.